There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. Divas and Divas, it's your girl. So today's video is, of course, another inexpensive, uh, affordable, synthetic lace front wig. This one is also going to be featured on ElevateStyles.com, which is another main concept wig. So I'll go out of breath and lose my breath by saying all of that. Mm. This one is called Melrose, you know, like Melrose Place. Pretty sure you guys may be familiar with that show, but that was like back in the day. So anyone, this one here is the color ST427. And like I said, it is by main concept. This is their glueless lace front collection. So this one does have an elastic band in the back of the nape area, which is pretty cool. The only thing that I wish they would have kept is the combs in the unit because they did decide to put wig clips right here. Now, the color, like I said, is a very pretty color. It is a ST427. Kind of looked like the last color that I did which was a SR1B30 they kind of look very very similar to one another this one does have like a swoop type of bang so you're definitely going to have to wear it on the left side parted um, because it is just a one kind of like parting angle and it has a swoop bang for those of you guys who love like a good swoopage then definitely check out Melrose. It is synthetic, of course, so you guys know it's going to tangle. There are three combs in this unit. Actually, there's two on the left side, and then there is one on the right. And I already went ahead and tweezed a little bit of the part, and that's about it. It's a soft lace, and it's like a medium brown color. I probably, I would, I want to say this is probably like about 16 inches. I love the fact that the roots are darkened and then it just gradually goes into the browner color. Normally for me, I do like the roots to be just very minimal, but for this case scenario, it doesn't look bad at all. By all means, check out Elevate Styles because they have loads of different units on there. They got stuff that ain't even come out yet. Like when I say they got stuff that ain't even come out yet, trust me, I am not even lying. So the first thing that I want to do is I'm going to take my Lancome foundation stick and this is in the color Bliss or Bisque. And it more or less will match my complexion or my scalp a little bit. I'm just going to place some of it on the inside of the cap this time. And I did not say it's going to be a left part. It's actually going to be a right part. My bad. I did change my shirt just to give this wig a little bit more appeal. I will be honest and tell you this is not one of my favorite by main concept. It's very bulky at the bottom portion. Very, very bulky. And on top of that, the lace, the clips in the back, they just don't fasten down enough. So it's kind of like buckling in the nape area, which makes it open and it's very, very itchy to the neck to be thinned out. The way it's curled is kind of awkward. Um, you would definitely need to kind of like do something different with it. Once you brush it out, it's very full. It just looks very, very puffy. Um, 
and that's the one thing that I don't like about it. It doesn't lay properly, especially for the length. It's not laying properly. And the swoop bang is kind of like all over the place. So you see how it just kind of gets like really, really big at the bottom. You would definitely have to kind of like, I don't know, do something different with this. And for me, this wig is very itchy. It seems to be very, very itchy. I would definitely probably just throw like a headband on with this one just because of the bulkiness and the actual, um, the wig style itself. The color is very nice, but the bulkiness of the wig is what is throwing it off a lot. You would have to definitely play with this one. So this is not like one of my favorite for main concepts. But the color is so pretty though. That's the one thing that I'm like really like amazed with. The color is pretty. So sometimes you got to dress it up. Like I don't like to wear like certain shirts with certain wigs because I just feel like it just kind of like takes away from the wig. It makes the wig look kind of like homely and stuff. So that's the reason why I changed my shirt with it. Now I will say it does hold hairspray really well. Um, so that's a good thing about it. It holds hairspray really well. But right here in the front is just like where it's just like totally kind of like a little bit off. So yeah. Melrose, not my favorite, but the color is him. I just really feel like they should have put the adjustable straps at the nape and definitely the combs. Once they took the combs out and the adjustable strap and replaced it with just the elastic band, it's just making the wig lay a little bit more bulkier in the back area. And I don't like that. And once it unbuckles, it's very like scratchy and itchy to your neck. So yes, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video for the most part. Stay diva and delicious. Definitely check out elevatestyles.com. They've got loads of different styles. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs this video up if you love me as much as I love you guys. And on that note, I'll see you guys in a soon to come video. And I love you all and have a great rest of your day.